everybody and happy Tuesday. Today is May 26, 2020. I hope all of you had an amazing long weekend. I know I definitely needed that. So I hope you, you enjoyed it too. All right, today we've got a lot going on. Today is F day of our ABC countdown. So it is friendship day. So you should draw a picture of some of you and your friends from school and you can send it to each of your teachers. And we'll be sure to include that for morning motivation. Today is also the first day of hats and accessory week. Accessory is something you wear to spice up your outfit. Um, Miss Andros actually does not have a lot of accessories or hats, so Miss Bass actually helped me out. So I've got this lovely hat right here. I've got these earrings that are actually hearts. They're like backwards and forwards, right? I have this pearl necklace. Um, some of it is pearls. I love pearls. They're my favorite. And they're actually the stone of the month that I was born in, which is next month. And there's some gold in here. Um, I've got some gold and pearls right here. I've got some more gold over here. Okay. A little bit of everything. See, spice up, spice up the outfit, you know? <laughs> All right. If you're not ready, go ahead and grab your things, get ready, and then come back and join me. All righty, loves. So before the long weekend, we were working on our plan and our brainstorm for our bio poems. So you either chose to do a brainstorm for a character you know or read about or about yourself. So you're going to need that for your lesson today. It looks like this. Okay, you're gonna bring your brainstorm and your plan. And then you're also going to need your pencil. Okay, and you're also going to need a paper, either a blank one or one with lines, and you're either gonna set it up like this I'm gonna hold it here. You can pause the video so you can copy what I have written down. Or you'll have the printout uh, from the Google Drive and I'll include a picture of that on the screen so you can see that as well. So you're only going to need those three things for today. Go ahead and grab all of your materials. It's shout out time. It's shout out time. It's shout out time. All right. I have shout outs for lots of friends today for actually lots of different reasons. So these friends took their time to write more than one adjective that described their person, more than one activity that they enjoy doing, more than one thing that they feel, that they wonder, that they fear, that they care about, that they're able to do, and that they dream of. It was really cool to see you guys push yourselves uh, to look inside yourself about the things that you uh, think and feel. That's going to make your poems today that much cooler to read. And your teachers and your peers are going to learn so much more about you or your character. All right, really nice work to those friends. So shout out to Jeremiah, Victoria, Carlos, Fabian, Gabriel, Nyla, Abdi, Sterling, Nisa, Edriel, Keisha, Joshua, and Divine. Really nice job to those scholars. Keep up the great work.
friends, so now let's get into it. We learned last week that a bio poem is a poem that describes a person and it is 10 lines long and you can write one about yourself or someone else, but it's still 10 lines and it still describes that person. So go ahead and grab your brainstorm, grab your pencil, and we are going to transfer the information. That means we are going to move information from here onto our actual bio poem. All right, we're going to go line for line. So go ahead and have them side by side and we'll begin. Make sure before you begin that your paper is set up in a way that is nice, neat, and organized so your writing can follow the same exact pattern. All right, here we go. My bio poem. So where it says adjectives that describe the person, that's describing either you or the character you chose. We're not gonna get into that first. The first line, you're putting just your first name. As you write your first name, uh, I want you to make sure those letters that are tall are going above the line. Those letters that are small are staying inside of the lines and those letters that fall are going beneath the line. So I'm going to show you my example in just a second. Making sure you're including capital because your name is a proper noun. So this is what mine looks like. Notice how it goes above the line for my capital, above the line for my tall letters T and H, and all the other letters are in between, and my P falls just below. All right, once you've done that, now we're gonna move into the adjectives. So, you should have three or four here. If you have one or two, that's okay, you're going to Think of one or two extra, and we are going to move that from this box into our poem. So choose the ones that you feel most describe you, and you're going to put that into there. As you're spelling them, I want you to stretch them out or write them from memory. Okay, so making sure you have three or four. So here I go. Once you've got it, write those down word by word. All right, when you're done, put your pencil down, reread it back to yourself. Okay, make sure that you're writing on the line only, okay? So notice how all four of my adjectives are on that one line. I'm not going to the next one, so make sure you're giving yourself enough space. If you need to start your line over here, you can. Okay, the next line says important relationship, daughter of, son of, okay? So you, this was not on your brainstorm, but it is on here. So if you are a daughter, you are going to write daughter of, and if you are a son, you will write son of, okay? Um, you could also include, if you wanted to write about an aunt, you could write niece of, if you are um, a girl, or you could write nephew of, um, if you are a boy, so, or goddaughter, if you want to write about a godmom, um, or godson of, and then you're going to write the person that is tied to that. So, I am going to choose daughter of I 
have the whole line planned on my hands. Now I'm stretching out the spelling. And using what they give me on my paper to help me spell as well. Once you're done, put that down. Again, check your letters. Check your heart words. I'm gonna show you mine. So these are my parents' names. This is my mom's name. This is my dad's name. So daughter of Teresa and Valdivier. Now, whichever relationship you choose, you would write their names. Okay, the next line is two to three things you love. Now from your brainstorm, that was this box, what you enjoy. So I'm gonna check off that first box because I already did that. So where it says I enjoy, you're gonna choose two to three things if you wrote four. If you only wrote one, you're gonna push yourself to think of two more and you're gonna write them on that line. So I'm gonna choose mine. Hmm. Once you've got it, again, stretch it out, write it from memory. And you're writing it nice and neatly, keeping those letters in mind. And once you're done, reread that line back to yourself. Check for those letters and spelling and neatness. And you're gonna check off your second box of your brainstorm. Okay, our next line says three feelings you've experienced. Three feelings you've experienced or felt. That's this box right here, who feels, okay? What have you felt? Hmm. It could be lately, it could be in general. You're gonna pick from your box, plant it on, on, your, on your fingers. Once you've got your three, again, And when you're done, you know what to, to check for. We're about the halfway point. I'm gonna show you mine so far. And then you're going to check off that box as we move through our brainstorm. The reason we're checking it off is to make sure we're keeping track of our thoughts and organizing them. 
The next line is three fears you've experienced, okay? Again, this could be recently or this could be generally. You're going to go to this box, who fears, and you're gonna choose three of those. Plan it out on your, on your fingers. And once you've got it, And when you're done, you can check off that fourth box. Make sure you're giving yourself enough space as you write. All right, the next one I'm moving to is accomplishments. You are going to go to this box where it says who is able to. You're thinking of the things that you do. Each of those things that you are able to do is an accomplishment. All right. Now you could even think of a new one related to school if you want to, right? Once you've got it, take out your fingers, build it. Once you've got it, All right, when you're done, put that pencil down and you can check off that fifth box. All right. The next line is two to three things you want to see happen or experience. And that was that last box, um, who dreams or who wonders, all right? or a combination of both, okay? You're going to look at those two boxes and think which ones you want to include for this. And once you've got it, build it on your fingers. Once you've got it, And once you're done, you can check off those boxes that you included. I checked off both because I used both. All right. Again, making sure you're giving yourself enough space so that you can fit it all in one line. Make sure you're still including those finger spaces. 
All right, our next line was not on our brainstorm, but it's where you live. So that's literally where you live, okay? This is a proper noun, so remember, what comes at the beginning? Yep, capital letter. And our last one is our last name. So you're going to write your last name. Again, another proper noun. So you need that capital. Now I know some of you may be thinking, wait, we didn't do the box that says who cares about. The box of who cares about could also be in the section where it says two to three things you want to see happen or experience. Like I wrote world peace and justice. Those are things I want to see still happen. Um, but I chose other things to write in my bio poem. And when you're done, put your pencil down. You're going to reread each line to yourself. Reread it from top to bottom. See if it makes sense. See if it flows with your brainstorm, see if it describes you and your character well, checking for those capitals, those finger spaces, those heart words. In this poem, you do not have to worry about punctuation. All right, so I'm gonna do that with mine. Okay, all right, I'm gonna read you mine out loud and then you can read yours to someone around you or to yourself um, or when you upload your picture today, you can also send us a video of you reading your poem. All right, here we go. Stephanie, enthusiastic, energetic, helpful, thoughtful. Daughter of Teresa and Baldvere. Reading books, laughing, dancing inspired, motivated, brave. Cockroaches, heights, getting lost. Make people smile, learn from others. Travel the world, have a family, grow as a teacher. Roxbury, Massachusetts, Anjos. And that, my friends, is my bio poem. I'm gonna hold that up, you can pause the video and look at it. Don't worry, I'll always include a picture after. And here is your brainstorm with it checked off as well. All right. All right, that is all for today, friends. Tomorrow is game day and hat day, so you can wear a hat when you're learning and play a game at Morning Motivation. And you can wear some more accessories that include sunglasses, jewelry, um, necklaces, costumes. I'll include the flyer in the video. Until tomorrow, everyone. Thank you.